The Chinese Chamber of Commerce conference room was packed as the Guam Environmental Protection Agency Board of Directors gathered to hear the latest in the appeal process of the Guam Resource Recovery Partners to get a landfill permit. Guam EPA's former point of contact to the project, Benny Cruz, told the board not much has been done due to key members taking time off and studies not being submitted on time by GRRP. I just want to emphasize that GRRP and Guam EPA is still working together. Uh, there is no friction, so there, there is more uh, a working relationship. GRRP legal counsel Arthur Clark also backed up Cruz's statements, saying the past two months have been inactive for both sides, but that they are still working together. Over the last two months, uh, there hasn't been much in the way of uh, uh, intercourse between the two, uh, uh, the two uh, well, the agency and NGRRP uh, because of schedules being what they were. However, Santa Rita resident Ken Leon Guerrero believes Guam EPA and GRRP had more than enough time to move ahead in the permit process. He says three prior public hearings on GRRP's landfill plan still haven't been distributed and compiled properly to the public because he's been asking for copies. Furthermore, he thinks Guam EPA is giving preferential treatment. Yes, the Santa Rita residents are very concerned about the lack of progress in this matter for two reasons. The first reason that we're concerned is that there appears to be preferential treatment being given by the Board of Directors to the GRRP application by virtue of the fact that they're having a, a, uh, a, P, they're having a hearing appeal on an application that is not even completed yet. That would be tantamount to me asking the bank to approve a loan I haven't applied for. Despite the criticism, GRRP project coordinator Dave Sablon feels confident they are moving forward. While they are dealing with delays because of the rainy season, Sablon says they are looking to finish the building of the access road into Atentano and complete the necessary studies for the landfill permit. We have to get first some conditional approval from Guam EPA in writing, present it to the financiers. They would then issue the uh, financing uh, package that we have requested. We can then finish the road system, then we can bring in the equipment to do all of the uh, physical data gathering that we need to do, and then we submit all of that information to the Guam EPA, and we feel confident that there's nothing there, uh, but it's a matter of record. And once we submit all of that, uh, we're basically ready to receive the final permit, which probably requires a, a public hearing prior to the issuance of that.